all please rise. The Obama administration didn't send any household names to Capitol Hill. Deputies instead called to take the heat for what most of the members of this congressional committee called an illegal spying program. You're kind of making it up as you go along. We're, 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 we're not making it up. The committee wasn't focused on allegations that the U.S. is intercepting most foreign email. In fact, many said they didn't care about that. I don't know why we'd worry about their privacy. I'm not so worried about foreign intelligence. I'm worried about your, you're gathering my information. It's That's what had them very upset. The National Security Agency admits it is collecting records on all cell phone calls made in the U.S. The numbers dialed, the duration, and the location where the calls come from. A huge concern for civil liberties groups. You could, uh, just tracking somebody's location over a long period of time, you could, you could draw all sorts of accurate conclusions about their medical history, about their intimate relationships, about their professional life, about their personal life. The Obama administration has defended the legality of the program, saying Congress authorized it. The man who wrote the Patriot Act and others here say, no, they didn't. It's got to be changed, and you have to change how you operate. You're disregarding the statute entirely. You've already violated the law. There are several bills in Congress that would change what the National Security Agency can do in the U.S., but it's not clear there is the political will to pass any major reforms in this divided Congress. Polling shows a lot of them would, would rather that this just took place, and they will tell you, Look, if you're not doing anything wrong, then what do, you, what do you have to worry about? If Congress doesn't act now, they could simply allow the law to expire in 2015. The only other chance it'll be changed is if the Supreme Court weighs in and declares the programs violate the Constitution because the message from the Obama administration was clear. They say they need these programs to keep the country safe and they have no plans to stop what they are doing at home or abroad. Patty Colhane, Al Jazeera, Washington.